Ready all flights. Wildcat 2 1 scramble. Roger, over. I have visual on Bandit moving to intercept. Going for Bandit 1. Roger, I'm on Bandit 2. On bandit one, fuck you, Mike, missile away. I've got bandit two locked. Roger, it's all yours. Missile away, he's history. You take him out or I will. Back off. I've almost got tone. <laughs> nice kill, hot shot. You gonna finish him off? Forget it. The sector is clear. But what about the price on his head? I'm a fighter pilot, Tex. Not a murderer. Returning to base. Gwen, I've been meaning to talk with you about our last run. You know that we've got backup chutes rigged on the cargo. You should have had the cargo master jettison some of our supplies. Instead of trying to land a fully loaded C-130 with an engine out. With all due respect, Commander, my job was to bring in that cargo, and I wasn't about to let one bad engine stop me. Weapons are easy to replace, Gwen. You keep letting your exaggerated sense of duty cloud your judgment. The important thing is survival. 
The important thing is doing your job, however you do it. Jobs are easy to come by. Success is harder. I get results, Gwen, by any means necessary. And I always get what I want. Hey, Commander, you might want to tell Stern if you get the chance that there was a recruiter from another squadron here earlier. Stern's got nothing to worry about, Janet. None of us has any reason to leave. I'm sure I can come up with enough reasons to hang around here for now. But after all, business is business. So how are our planes doing, Miguel? I think we're going to lose another one, Commander. It took 20 rounds of 30 millimeter last mission. This bird won't be flying again if I can help it. Commander, tell Schrader to stop whining and do his job. Safety is my job, Virgil. Commander, this F-16 doesn't need fixing, it needs burying. The fuselage is going to rip apart in the first high-G turn. It isn't a plane anymore, Virgil. It's a death trap. Come off it, Commander. Danger is our business. Our business? I haven't seen you dodging flak lately, Virgil. Very funny. Try keeping this squadron in the black for a while, and we'll see how you like it, flyboy. That's enough. The safety of my people always comes first. Miguel, strip that plane for parts, and hurry. Fine, then. I'll be in my office. Commander Schrader, we're underway for Mauritania in four hours. So get a move on loading that truck. We've got work to do. Commander, come on in. Stern told me you'd be stopping by. He wants me to learn the financial end of operations. That's right. Stern thought it was about time his successor learned how hard it is to finance this group. Come on, Virgil. It can't be that bad. We make several million a mission. But you should see the overhead on this plane. Try making a profit with a monthly burn rate of $15 million. Just take a look in the ledger. It's a nightmare. The only thing we don't run out of around here is red ink. All I can say is, if we keep taking low-paying jobs like this one in Mauritania, you hotshots had better pull them off without hitches, or we don't eat. The situation in Mauritania is desperate, Commander. A famine has broken out here, and corrupt rebels in the area are exploiting the situation for political gain. In the past year, these rebels have risen to challenge the legitimate government, but they've been unable to garner popular support. Until now. I don't get it. How could a famine help the rebels? They're intercepting Red Cross relief supplies, preventing their delivery, and then blaming the lack of relief on the government. Come on, the people must know what's really going on. Remember, news spreads very slowly in Mauritania, and rebel propaganda has furthered the misinformation. The government must get relief through to the people, or the rebels will gain further support. Correction. 
We must get relief to the people, right? Exactly. There's an airstrip just north of the area. We'll escort a transport plane full of relief supplies to that strip. The Hercules will take off soon. We'll meet it on the way. Be ready to leave soon. All right, Commander, the C-130 pilot just reported in, and he's on his way to the meeting point. We'll rendezvous at about 20,000 feet, and continue on towards the runway to the southeast. Once we reach our destination, we'll do a pass over the capital, Noyakchot, and return to our base. Be on the lookout for enemy planes, since that Hercules is a sitting duck in the air. I don't expect the rebels to have much in the way of air power, though. It sounds almost too easy. In this job, there's no such thing as too easy. Come on, we've got a mission to fly. You could join us. Where'd they come from?
so so. Safe. Thanks, Wildcats. Mission accomplished. Return to base. Pull up, pull up. 